In the past 12 months, mugs have been one of the most popular and most profitable items sold on Etsy with tons of new sellers generating thousands of dollars in revenue in their first few weeks, which is crazy because this truly is one of the easiest and lowest cost side hustles to start. Now, if you're thinking about starting a shop that sells something like mugs on Etsy, I definitely would recommend using the method of print on demand. Now, this is the business model I have personally used to generate thousands of dollars in product sales every single month without ever touching a single item of inventory, storing things at my own home, or shipping things out. The beauty of print on demand is you get to focus on all the fun stuff like creating designs and uploading products that people want to buy, and then your manufacturing partner is going to handle all the things like printing, packing, shipping, and storing those items while you just pocket the profit every single time an item sells. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this already really easy and profitable side hustle even easier by utilizing the power of different AI tools. So if you feel like you don't know the first thing about design or research or doing SEO, that's totally okay because AI is going to be doing all of those hard parts for us. Now, by the end of this tutorial, you're going to know everything from finding really great products, creating designs, uploading them with amazing SEO, and everything in between. So let's not waste any more time and just jump right into the tutorial. Now, the very first thing you're going to need to do in this process is actually create an Etsy shop and open your first store. Now, that's really easy. All you're going to need to do is go to Etsy, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the first page there, and just click sell on Etsy. And that's going to prompt you to actually enter your email and create your first Etsy shop. Now, the part of this process that is going to make selling something like mugs on Etsy way easier and more passive is integrating with a production partner. Partner. Now, the production partner that I use that has all of the white label products that we can sell on Etsy is called Printify. Now, they have way more than mugs. They have things like t-shirts, bedding, notebooks, tote bags, and everything in between. So if you want to try your hand at selling even more types of products, they are definitely who I would recommend connecting with. Now, once you've created your first Printify account, which you can create one with the link down below, all you're going to do is connect that with your Etsy account, which it's going to walk you through that process. And if you want even more help on step-by-step -step what to do, I actually have a full video tutorial on that too. Now, once the two of them are integrated, the fun part can really begin where we start coming up with our product and design. Now, one of the big criticisms I hear all the time when I tell people how successful I've been in my print-on-demand business is, well, it's just way too saturated now. New sellers can't be really popular. And to that, I just respond that you have to just be able to find low competition and high demand niches. And I'm going to show you my method for doing exactly that. Now, to make this easier, I actually have a full cross-niching download that you can get for free down below in the description that's going to help you be able to come up with over 40,000 really unique and low competition niches to actually help your products get seen. Now, this is just a way to make the niching down process a lot easier and help you come up with really profitable ideas for new products to sell that aren't going to have tons and tons of competition. So the concept of this cross niching guide is really simple. It has a number of different categories, everything from careers, hobbies, holidays, different kinds of pets. And what I like to do is in order to have a lot less competition, I am going to take two different things from two separate categories and kind of cross them together to make a really unique one-of-a-kind niche that's not going to be competing against thousands and thousands of other sellers trying to sell a mug in this category. So today we're going to come up with maybe three different really good niche ideas to put on a mug. Now whenever you think about selling a new type of product for print on demand, it's important to think about things that people are very passionate about. That could be something like a career or a holiday, but the ones that I'm going to be focused focusing on today are people's hobbies and people's pets. Now, if you know anything about both of those things, it's stuff that people can't stop talking about. And when it comes to print on demand products, a lot of times people are buying these as gifts. So if they know something about someone, like they have a particular hobby, they have a certain pet, it's a really easy gift to get someone because it's something that you know they will really like. So what we're going to do is we are going to go down to the pet category. So right here, I have a bunch of different dog breeds and on the next page, I have all sorts of other different types of pets. 
So I think for this first design that we're going to make for our mugs, I actually want to do something really fun and maybe out of the box so we can make sure there's not a ton of competition. So instead of going maybe for a cat or dog, I actually think that I want to make a mug design that has something to do with a bearded dragon. And then I'm going to pick a hobby to cross it with. So I think that I might do something like video games. Now, if we tried to make just a generic video game design, it's probably true that there's really just going to be way too much competition for us to try to get our product seen on those first pages. But by crossing it with something else really unique, we are making a very, very niche down product that someone who has both of those interests is going to be really apt to buy. So that is our first idea. Now let's come up with a couple more and then we can take those to the actual design process with AI. Now, since that first one was a little bit more unique, let's just take the pet of a cat and then cross that with the hobby of quilting. I think that could be a really fun one. And again, anyone who has these two hobbies is going to be instantly interested in a product that is so hyper targeted to them. Now let's come up with one more pet and hobby combination, this time from maybe a different category of pet that we haven't used before. So let's actually do a French bulldog, super cute pet, and then and the hobby of Let's go with chess. I think that could be a really fun combination. Now that we have those three ideas, it's time to actually utilize AI to come up with some really hyper-specific and amazing designs to put on these mugs. Now, the design suite that I'm actually going to be using to make my designs today is called Kittle. If you haven't heard of Kittle before, they are kind of an all-in-one print-on-demand platform that helps you to make designs for everything from mugs to t-shirts to notebooks. And not only do they have amazing AI capabilities, but they have tons of pre-made templates that you can simply swap out a few of the words or elements for a completely original design. Now they've kindly sponsored this portion of the video. So let's just dive into actually how do you come up with and create really amazing AI artwork that only takes a few seconds and not a lot of design skill whatsoever. So over on Kittle, all I'm going to go ahead and do is click new project. And one of the nice things is they have a bunch of print on demand presets. So we are going to go ahead and look for the one for mugs. So we don't even have to memorize what size canvas we need to make. So let's go down here. And since we're integrated with Printify, they have the exact mug measurements that you're going to need. So I'm going to click that mug and then make sure it is the orientation of landscape. And we're going to go ahead and create that. Now we have our canvas all ready to go. So I am going to make this process super simple. We're not going to get really fancy with it. All we're going to be doing is generating a really good AI design. Now on Kittle, where you find their AI features is down here. You're going to just go ahead and click Kittle AI. And what we're going to start doing is just describing our image. So for this first one, I just wrote the prompt, cute bearded dragon holding video game controller. I want to make sure that this image is going to have nods to both of those niches that we crossed together. Now, for something so unique like this, it's going to be really hard to find pre-made vectors or artwork that has both of these hyper-specific niches in them. So that's why AI is really powerful for niching down because it's going to help you generate images that are not out there yet. So that is my prompt. Now I'm going to click which image style I want to put this in. Now I really like kind of more of a cutesy style design but Kittle also has tons of other types of graphics that you can pick. So everything from a t-shirt graphic to even these really popular mascot styles, the popular kawaii style, you can make vectors with this too. But I'm going to go ahead and click cartoon and we're going to push generate image. Now we just wait for that to load. All right so after just a minute it generated this really cute bearded dragon holding a video game controller. Now sometimes it will take a couple tries to get something that you really love but in this case it worked on that first try. Now all you're going to need to do to actually optimize this to look really good on a mug is I like to click the AI background remover. That just makes it look really clean and now I'm going to show you how I make a lot of my mugs that are just image based. So since a mug typically has two sides what I'll often do is I will basically have this image and then I'm going to mirror it on the other side. So either way that you hold the mug, you're going to be able to see the image that you created. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click that. I'm going to push copy 
and then we're going to go ahead and paste that second image and then I'm going to right click that again and I'm going to flip it horizontally. Now I'm just going to play with the positioning of both of these, maybe making them take up a little more of the canvas and arranging them until I'm really happy with how they're turning out. And then once that looks symmetrical and we're happy with it, I'm just going to go over to the upper right hand corner, click download, and then I'm going to go ahead and remove the background and download it as a PNG. And since we clicked the correct preset, all of the sizing and pixels and DPI is already set for us so we don't even have to worry about that. Now let's move on to our other designs. And if you've never made a Kittle account before, I can't recommend them enough. I have a link down below in the description to get started with a discount. All right, for our next design, I've done the exact same thing and created a new canvas with that preset. This one is going to be for that cat plus quilting cross niche. So again, I'm just going to start describing the image I want to use. So I just put cute cat sewing a quilt and then I'm again going to click that really cute cartoon style because I love the way that the last one came out and I think it would make a really good design that would really stop somebody's scroll. So we're going to go ahead and generate that image. All right, so again, after just a minute, it came up with this really adorable cat design here. So again, I'm going to use the AI background remover here and then once we get this to about the size we want. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and then paste it and then mirror that design. All right, that looks really good. Let's go ahead and download this one as well with those same settings. All right, so our last one I'm super excited about. I can't wait to see what the Kittle AI comes up with. So this is going to be our French Bulldog playing chess. So let's put in our prompt right now. So I wrote cute French bulldog playing chess and let's do that cartoon style once again and generate this image. Now sometimes if you aren't getting exactly what you want you can try out either being more specific or maybe even taking out some of those extra details if it's not really making sense of what you're putting in. But typically it is going to be pretty smart. All right, so after waiting, that came up with the most adorable little French bulldog playing a game of chess. Now, anyone who has a Frenchie or a French bulldog and loves chess, they are going to instantly fall in love with something like this because it's definitely something you could never find in any store. And that's the beauty of print on demand. We can make these super hyper specific designs that people love, but they're too niche down to actually make money in a store like Walmart or Target. But we can easily sell them because we are selling them one at a time. When something is purchased, your manufacturing partner like Printify is going to then create the item. They're not making a ton of stock of this hyper specific item. They can just make a new one every single time something like this sells. Now I'm just so impressed with how well these AI images are turning out. If you've used Kittle in the past and you weren't thrilled with the AI images, I did want to mention that they've recently overhauled their whole AI image generator. So it's way, way better and so much easier to use. You can almost every time get really usable sellable designs. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that same process of copying, pasting, and then flipping this design here and then going to go ahead and mirror that on the other side. Let's make it a little bit bigger. All right and then once we're happy with that again we're going to go ahead and download over here with those same settings. Now we're going to actually create and upload our design to sell on Etsy. So I am over in my Printify account which if you haven't created you can create one with the link down below. It's totally Totally free to use them as your manufacturing partner. Now I'm going to click the mug that I love to use which is just this ceramic 11 ounce mug kind of just your classic and it has a really great price to be able to sell and make a healthy amount of profit. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just click start designing. Now since our designs aren't complicated at all all we're going to have to do to actually upload our artwork is go over here to uploads and then click my device to find the artwork that we just made. All right, so I went ahead and I added that bearded dragon video game design that we created together. So all I'm going to do is make sure that this takes up a lot of the print area here, but I don't like to go too much into that gray area because sometimes that can get a little bit cut off. So that is looking really good, but I'm going to go ahead and preview this to see what this would look like actually printed on the mug. Right, so that is looking super, super cute here. So all I'm going to go ahead and do is click save the product in the bottom right hand side. Now this is going to allow us to edit a lot of the information here on Printify before we actually sync to Etsy. So I'm going to go ahead and have the title say something like bearded dragon ceramic mug 
and we're going to refine the SEO, the title and description a ton more once we actually sync it with our Etsy shop. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and call it that. And again, the description, I'm going to edit that on Etsy once we publish it. Now, the next thing we need to do is edit the pricing here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one and push edit price. And when you are selling products on Etsy, it's really important to choose your price based on the other items you see that you're going to be competing with, but also think about making enough profit. So even though this item starts less than $5, by the time you factor in all the fees and taxes and things like advertising, a lot of times it's better to give yourself a ton of buffer. So since it's a really normal competitive price, I'm going to actually go ahead and price this at $12.99 and push apply. Now the profit is showing around $8.50 here. That's going to be a bit less once everything is said and done, but I really do like to aim to be making at least $5 profit on every sale that I'm making. So this is definitely going to get us in that range. Now all I'm going to do is go ahead and push publish. All right, now I've gone over to the Etsy shop that I created at the beginning of this video, and I can see that the item that I just created is synced to this Etsy shop. Now, it doesn't really look very good right now, but we're going to make a ton of changes to make this a really sellable item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this gear icon here and just push edit. Now, one of the really important things that I always like to think about, even before I mess with the title and the description and stuff like that, is going to be the thumbnail photo. Now, Printify does give you some free thumbnail options, but I typically like to have something that one, is more in context, it looks like a lifestyle photo, and is something maybe not a ton of people have used. So a lot of times the Printify ones are very overused on a place like Etsy. So one of the easiest ways, if you are using Kittle as your design suite, to have great mock photos is just to use their mock-up generator on there. All right, so I am back on that bearded dragon artwork. Now, all you have to do to create a mock-up on Kittle is go up here to this little shirt icon and click that. And then I'm going to go ahead and search mug right here. And then just click a really good lifestyle mug mock-up. Now, all you have to do is since we only want it to show one side of the design is I'm just going to make that bigger and then place it right where it is on our actual product. Now, once I'm happy with that, all we're gonna go ahead and do is click download mock-up. Now, back on Etsy, all we have to do to add that mock-up is click right here and add a photo. And once that's been uploaded, I like to make that the primary thumbnail photo. And then we're gonna click adjust to thumbnail. And I'm just gonna make sure it's zoomed in enough to look really good. So let's click done. And then I'm going to go ahead and crop that and then push apply. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually write our title and descriptions. This is the part that a lot of people will get really concerned about because they don't know what keywords to do and they don't even know how to begin actually writing a title or a description. So I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to actually write your title and description for you. All right, so on ChatGPT, all I'm going to do is start a new chat. And I just said, write me a 140 character Etsy title for a mug with a bearded dragon playing video games, including the keywords bearded dragon, video game, dad, father's day, reptile, mug, coffee cup, best gift for birthday lizard and funny. And I asked it to not repeat any keywords, don't use filler words and try to use all of those characters. Now, I just like to include the keywords of what is actually on the mug, as well as things that maybe are coming up or are, are important to include. So things like best gift for Father's Day is coming up. So I wanted to include those keywords and things like funny. So the first option, this is not going to work for us. It's too short. It includes hashtags and emojis, which is not what we want to do for Etsy. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tell it to take those things out. So I said, use all 140 characters, don't use hashtags or emojis. So then it gave us bearded dragon, dad, video game mug, perfect for Father's Day, reptile coffee cup, best birthday gift for gamer, lizard enthusiast. So that's getting better. Let's go ahead and take that and we can make any tweaks needed. So let's go ahead and copy this and I'm going to go ahead and paste that. All right, so I don't really like to have any of these dashes, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that there. And I really don't love to have a ton of commas either. And then instead of putting perfect, I'm going to go ahead and put best because a lot of people are looking up like best lizard Father's Day gift or best gift for dad. So what we have here is bearded dragon dad video game mug, best Father's Day reptile coffee cup, best birthday gift for gamer lizard enthusiast ceramic mug, 11 ounces. So that includes 
all of the stuff that we really want to be targeting and it's not using filler words it's not including a lot of fluff there or repeating things so that is really good there now we're going to go down to the description and I'm going to go ahead and leave all this pre-inserted stuff from Printify, but I also want to include a few sentences of description that include a lot of those keywords that we just used. So I'm going to go back to ChatGPT and have it help us write that. So I just said write a three sentence description for this mug with the same keywords. And I'm just going to go ahead and take that and then make any tweaks over on our Etsy listing. So let's paste that. And again, I don't love to include a lot of fluff. So I'm just going to say for gaming enthusiast dad. And then it has all of that information about birthdays, gift, bearded dragon, video games, but it's in more of a conversational sentence type structure. So that is looking really good. Now the price we already adjusted there, and now it's time to just include our tags. Typically, I like to, again, just include a lot of those keywords that we're trying to target and anything else I think people might be searching for. So I'm going to write a few of these here. All right, so I included a few here that were things like Bearded Dragon Cup, Bearded Dragon Mug, Lizard Coffee Cup, Lizard Father's Day, Video Game Lizard. And ideally you're going to fill all 13 of those up, but for the sake of this video, I've just done a few. And then Printify has already created a shipping profile for this, so you don't need to edit that. And then if you have a shop section this would fit in, you're going to click that here, and then you're just gonna go ahead and publish those changes. Now our listing should actually be ready for someone to purchase, so let's go ahead and check that out on Etsy itself. So I'm gonna click the gear icon and just push view on Etsy. All right, and then we can see our really great thumbnail photo as well as the title we created and the description that we wrote for that. This is really hyper-specific, so it's not going to have tons of competition, and you're going to do this exact same process for those two other design ideas we came up with. But for any of those ideas that you want to think of, using these kind of AI tools is one of the easiest ways to start a mug business this year. Now, if you want even more ideas of how you could use AI for a print-on-demand business, I definitely recommend watching this video next. It's going to show you step-by-step -step what you could do for other products besides mugs and all of the tools and resources you need to actually go through this whole tutorial. Everything from a Printify account, a Kittle account are going to be linked down below along with my free download. So make sure you do check those out. Thanks so much for Kittle for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!